Most people have no idea that we are getting closer and closer and closer to the coming of the Lord. She's not aware of that. Just like the people on the Titanic, blissfully sailing along the dark waters of this world's sin. But Jesus still loves the world. God loves the world. Jesus loves us. He loves you. He loves me. And Jesus is giving messages in the Bible. Messages for those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. He has told us that there would be an increase of wars, and there are. There would be famines, and they're happening big time right now. Diseases like AIDS, earthquakes in various places, violence like in the days of Noah. And it's happening right now. We've seen it right around the corner. Sexual sin like in the days of Lot, and it's everywhere, everywhere. We have to close our eyes as we drive down the highway. Increase of knowledge in the time of the end. And we are living in the time of the biggest increase in knowledge in world history. All around us, technology is soaring. The Bible says there would be a global environmental crisis when mankind would be, would be destroying the earth. We can see that right now all around us. Jesus said there would be signs in the heavens. There would be stress on earth. There would be hearts failing for fear. The number one cause of death, heart attack. It's just like, just like the lookout that was standing on top of the deck of the Titanic. He looked off into the distance and he saw it. He saw that dot on the horizon. It was getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And finally the message was sent to the captain. There's ice right ahead of us. It's my deepest conviction, and I say this very sincerely, in the sight of the Lord, that according to the Bible, all the signs that we've studied about are being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. And according to the Bible, this good ship this good ship, Mother Earth, is definitely going to hit the ice, according to the Bible. It's going to happen, isn't it? Everything else that Jesus said is happening. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 24. We're going to finish our meeting with two verses that describe one of the greatest events in the history of the universe. Matthew chapter 24, page 970. 6, 976, Matthew chapter 24. We started with this chapter and we will end with this chapter. These are the words of Jesus Christ, not the words of Steve Wahlberg. Verse 30, Jesus said, and then shall appear. We're going to take a look at at what the Bible actually refers to as the second coming of Jesus Christ. Now, we're also going to study the subject of the rapture a week from Tuesday night and issues surrounding this subject. But what we're reading right now in verse 30 and in verse 31 is a very clear reference to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Matthew 24, verse 30. Jesus said, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. One of these days, sometime in the future, and I'm not here to set a date, a sign is going to appear in the sky. And when people are on earth at that time, and as they look up and they see that sign, it seems clear as we continue to read that most people will have no idea what that sign is. What is that sign? What is that, that thing up there in the sky? Is it, a, is it a plane? No. Is it a satellite? No. Is it, uh, is it E.T.? Is it a man from Mars? People watch a lot of Hollywood movies, and they're probably going to be wondering, what in the world is that sign that has appeared up there in the sky? Jesus said, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And as that sign appears, cars are going to pull over. Joggers are going to stand still. Football games are going to stop. Even if it is right in the middle of the Super Bowl, it's going to stop. Farmers are going to stop plowing their fields and people are going to look up and they're going to wonder what in the world is that sign up there in the sky. Jesus says, verse 30, Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, the Son of Man in heaven. Notice that. The sign is the sign of the Son of Man. And what's going to happen is that as that sign gets closer and closer, people are going to realize it's a, it's a cloud up there. There's a cloud up there in the sky. It's getting closer, and inside that cloud, they're going to be shocked to discover, inside that cloud, there is a man. It's the sign of the Son of Man. There's a man in a cloud. 
And as that cloud gets closer and closer, people are going to, their eyes are going to, the lenses are going to fix on that man, and they're going to realize, they're going to be shocked to discover that man, I can't believe it. It, it's actually, it's, it's Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. It's the one who walked this earth 2,000 years ago. The one who was born in Bethlehem. The one who lived, who suffered, who died on the cross, who rose from the dead, who went to heaven. We haven't seen him in almost 2,000 years. And they're going to look up and they're going to see him. It's Jesus coming down from the sky. Now let's keep reading. Notice, Jesus says, And then shall all the tribes of the earth, what will they do? All the tribes of the earth, they shall mourn. They will mourn. Now, why will the tribes of the earth mourn as that cloud gets closer and closer and closer? Then shall all the tribes of the earth, people around the world, they will mourn. Why will they mourn? Well, the reason is because for them, the party's over. Isn't that right? Because they're, they're not ready. They don't know Jesus. And for them, the party's over. And they shall mourn. And then Jesus says, they shall see with their own eyes, they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with, and what's that next word? With power. That's right, with power. This is going to be a powerful event, isn't it? More power than we've ever seen, than anybody's ever seen in their whole life. With power, Jesus says. And then he goes on and he says, and with great, what else? Hallelujah. With great glory. Praise God. Is this going to happen? Brothers and sisters, this is going to happen. Of all the signs that we all the signs that we studied about tonight, are they all happening? These words of Jesus are going to be fulfilled with power and great glory. No no slide, no picture, no imagination can describe what it will actually be like. Verse 31, Jesus continues, and he says, and he shall send, referring to himself, he sends out his angels. And we'll study more about this on a, on a future night. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Hallelujah. A tremendous airlift is going to take place. The angels are going to come down. The trumpet's going to sound. And the angels will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. This event is the climax of all of human history. Jesus Christ refers to it over and over again, as we read in Matthew 24, as the end of the world. This is the end of the world. Tonight we've heard truth from the Bible, haven't we? We've seen it right there, right according to the word of God. Jesus Christ is coming again. The most important decision in our lives right now is to choose to believe in him, to follow him, to believe the Bible, to accept the Lord who died on the cross for the sins of the whole world. Hallelujah. May God help us to follow Jesus, to believe in the Bible, so we can be ready for the great events that are coming in the final days. Amen. Thank you.